Goli Otok, Croatia's Alcatraz. This island was the site of the only gulag in Europe. A high security, top secret political prison and labor camp located in the North Adriatic Sea. In operation between 1949 and 1956, it then went on to be a prison until 1989. The prison was entirely inmate run and its hierarchical system forced the convicts into beating, humiliating, denouncing and shunning each other. Approximately 16,000 people served here and 4,000 of those are said to have died here on the island. Join us as we discover what remains here today. So we've arrived at our boat trip. Goliotok Island, prison island to Croatia's Alcatraz. And we're actually taking that black boat there. Here we go, boys. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It's been a while since you've been on the boat. It has been a while since you've been on the boat. This is the life, mate. It is. So we've arrived at Croatia's Alcatraz. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, go, go. Thank you again. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. See you later, man. Cheers, man. Oh, yeah. boy, over here. Thank you. Bye. So we've arrived at Croatia's Alcatraz and I'm excited about this. That was, a, that was actually a smooth journey. Oh, yeah. That it was. was a good journey. So you can see on this leaflet, all of this is actually photos of prisoners from the island. Look how clear this water is. It's like island paradise. It is something else. I'm guessing these tracks would have probably brought prisoners on here. Maybe, I'm not sure, I'll have to look into it. Or maybe they're bringing food on trains. Maybe the boats were loading up the food put prisoners, bring them all up through here. So we're gonna have a look around these little buildings first. See if there's anything inside. I'm not sure if there is, but we need to check it all out for sure. Look at that cactus. Oh yeah. That's the first cactus I've seen in the wild. <gasps> oh, you stood on one then, Nelly. Oh, I stood on a gecko. Oh, there oh it is. Oh my God, you stood on a gecko, bro. Oh my God, I don't wanna kill any geckos, mate. No, I mean, I reckon this island's gonna be Filled to the maximum with geckos. Gecko Island, mate. Gecko Island. Lizard Island, mate. <laughs> so there are some remnants of old electricity boxes. I've still got the original tiles on the floor in this part. So I'm guessing these parts would have been used as a workhouse. And they were creating pottery here. Hmm? 
carving stone, so they're doing stonemasonry and woodwork in these parts right here. Unbelievable. So we're going to keep walking, see what else we can find, see if there's anything else. Any hidden mysteries, any clues of what was left behind. Try and work out maybe some personal stories of this place. This old uh, electric tower. I would climb it, but it doesn't look very safe, to be honest with you. Wow, this is a big building. And see, they always used to have generators or some sorts of machinery in here. Oh my gosh, look at that roof come down. That's still got some of the original paint on the walls and stuff. Looks like they might have been driving up this part, maybe. Oh my gosh. It's completely fell through. Oh. Dead rubber. Oh yeah, it's got a weird door on it, hasn't it? Look at it. Look at it. It's got like a little peak hole. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, this looks. Like... You can hold it. Or maybe a shower room or something. Yeah, shower room, I reckon, for the workers. So in this room here, this is a massive hammer press, so they would have been pressing metal, shaping metal, they would have used this as the furnace, but this is cool, this is a relic. You can see that it used to be green. It's got all the tiles still in place on this part. Oh yeah, the same, the paint, the green paint's left. This must be from the shepherds on the island. Yeah. What a waste of wool. The track used to run straight into this part, so they're probably offloading all the supplies and stuff for the workhouse. Right here. I just see all the lookout points all over the island, but you can see one high up on the hill up there in the distance. A bit of a strange structure. It almost looks like a bunker or some weird silo or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, look, there's like a chute or something there. Oh, yeah. But look at this. Let's go and have a look at this beach. Might get my feet in. Oh, be careful with urchins. If you don't know, guys, I threw an urchin in the sea. And I'm not sure if it was the one I threw or not, but Carl stood on an urchin and it messed him up. This is beautiful. You can see there's actually writing on this. Can't get in there because the roof's on down, so we're going to head down here. Check out the larger building. It's hot out here. It's like 30 plus degrees right now and I know in some countries people won't think that that's too hot but for us Eng <laughs> can't even speak us so hot <laughs> for us English folk that's bloody hot you can see look the train tracks ran all the way through didn't it yeah it wow
Not like a gecko. Oh. They rule the island. They do. They do rule the island. It's a cow poo, doesn't it? Yeah. You can see this we've all had shelving units up, storing stuff. There's actually a shelving unit on the floor there. Oh, big bones. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, rib bones. Mm. This is like island paradise, but abandoned island paradise. Oh, wow. No roof. A big boiler or something, I'm not sure. It goes down there though. Oh my god, it goes down a long way. Whoa. Oh my god, it's a funny room, isn't it? There's a tank or something. Oh yeah, like maybe a big water tank or something. Wow, this is a big room. Damn. But the tiles are still in place on the wall. Oh yeah, look it was like a wooden roof. I'm surprised that's still standing. Yeah, me too. Oof, I wouldn't like to go down there. Look, all the way around the island are tiny little lookout points. There's another one up there. I think it's a bit of a walk to the two main parts of the prison, but we're going to slowly make our way over there now. See what else we can find. So we've just walked down the road a little bit. You can see in this lamppost. I'm not sure if you can quite see, but this filled with bullet holes. So I don't know if that was like sh they were shooting people here or shooting at things, or maybe protection shooting in that direction as people coming over to the island. The island was uninhabited until World War One and the Austro-Hungarian Empire started sending prisoners of war from Russia into the island. It was then abandoned again until the post-World War II Yugoslavian era under Joseph Broz Tito. The camp was set up to imprison genuine or alleged pro-Soviet communists, even citizens merely accused of exhibiting sympathy towards the Soviet Union were banished here. They claimed that they would use their camps to re-educate inmates, convince them that they were wrong. Yet the camp was a horrific scene of abuse, where so many lost their lives. The camp became a prison in 1956, and non-political convicts began being sent to Goli Otok. 33 years later, 1989, it was completely closed down and has remained so ever since. So we've arrived, some more buildings, just a little bit further down the path, on the way to the main structure. This is a workshop for working on vehicles. What's this name Somebody named it, it says 79 to 88, but it's shot in 88, isn't it? Yeah, it's so shot do you reckon in 88. that's how long they were there? Yeah, how long they were there, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, one of the work people working on the cars or something, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? That's crazy, man. And then, because that looks like it was who built it. Yeah. But then again, that's... That's 87. Yeah, I know. But if it were built in 87, mm -hmm. you just don't know, do you? No. That was done with a finger, all that. You can just tell. Yeah, definitely. All the uh, oh. furniture, all the cabinets and the desks still in there. That is super that's cool. That's we've seen. Yeah, that's yeah. So far, anyway. Um, I'm not sure, man. Yeah, it probably was, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been a building. Does it? There's not enough rubble. No, there's not. That's weird. Yeah, this is probably the exercise yard, man. Unless they had wooden buildings here. Yeah, maybe. And the long gone. So we've arrived at another building. 
Look at this, it's got like bars on the window. There's like cool stuff inside, like army uniforms and just stuff like that. So we've arrived here in none of one of the other buildings. It has all these old ovens, like army's clothes in there and stuff. I know Wheaties disappeared in here somewhere. Oh, it stinks in there. Oh, it's the old prison bathroom. Oh! <laughs> that was close, man. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Come on, last try. I got it. Oh, third time lucky. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh! Oh, so <laughs> close. So I think I'm just going to walk around. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a dead eagle, mate. Really? Oh my god, oh my god yeah, it's filled with bones. Ooh, I didn't touch him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, that's creepy, that man. That's creepy. So I'm not sure what these parts would have been used for, but I'm guessing maybe animal storage. Looking after the animals here. Looks like blood covered, it? Yeah. Covered in blood. Creepy. When we get home, I'm going to translate some of these words. Yeah, so. definitely. Just these bars on all the windows. It's like yeah. pr prison, isn't it? Sort of big vent there, like a big chimney is used. It almost has a castle vibe looking over there. Oh, yeah. So this is another big workshop where they're processing stone and stuff like that. This is an old pressure cooker. No longer. They're probably selling stuff out of this. Yeah, at some it point for like tourists. After it closed, yeah, yeah, after it closed. Look at that generator there. Like, that is cool. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Up yeah, isn't it? Look, all the old workbenches and shelving units and stuff. It is, it's a rusty old place. Oh wow, look at that. Whoa. That looks incredible. Big warehouses, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big one. It smells weird, doesn't it? It's crazy to think at how many people were actually working in this building. Thousands of prisoners on this island have all been working in here in this incredible heat. I was reading that they were even working all day most of the night in 40 degree heats. And when it snowed in the winter, they were even working the same hours in the freezing cold. That's all got little doors. Little office Hello. doors. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, 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 The king of toes, <laughs> we toe. Bathrooms. Showers. Oh, this is exactly what you'd think a prison shower would look like. Yep. Oh, Ooh, it stinks in here, doesn't it? That's horrible. Whoever's been selling the ice cream and stuff here has just ended up dumping all their trash in here. Which I don't really agree with, to be honest with you. It's a historic building and they're just trashing it themselves, even though it's already pretty decayed. Oh, wow, look at that. Inmates were forced to carry out hard labour daily. They even had to build the workshops that they would work in. The island had a stone quarry, metal and wood workshops, and they were also producing marble slabs. Wheat and Carl on the roof, as you've just seen, so we're gonna head up. See what it's like up there. Look at this old writing. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pa 
Pawlowski. The doctor, Dr. Wheatman. Wow, well, that is cool. The view in every direction here is just something else. Oh my god, look at Wheatie! Looks cool up there, man. What? Looks cool walking up those yeah, stairs. Mate, wait till you get to that side bit, it looks like feels scary. <laughs> Are you going up? Yeah. So we're going to go up these stairs. There's Jess up there. Whoa! Missed my step then. Wow, incredible. Hello there. Hello there. Wow, we made it to the top. Wow, that's incredible. So you can see they've been quarrying out of here. And they're probably doing a lot of it by hand. Even though later on in the years they probably didn't have to. They were just still making the prisoners do it. You can see this chute. They would have probably been chucking rocks down here into the wagons and stuff, bringing it in and out. Look at that sun on the water. Something else. Yeah, so I wonder what this big round thing was for. Maybe it had a big tank in it or something? Because yeah. there's like a pipe hole there. Do you reckon, yeah? Put machinery in it. Yeah. Whoa. This is sketchy actually going down these back down these They're stairs. Small, aren't they? Back down these scares, I said. <laughs> so I'm scared and I'm going down the stairs. So we call it scares. Cars over there flying his drone. So here's some different funnels which a rock would have been funneling down out to all the workers on the roofs. Probably gone down more funnels down into the buildings. So we come to this beautiful row of buildings and this, this is super picturesque this part. Guys, if you want to see all the photos of this place, make sure you can check out our Instagram and our Facebook. The links are in the description. These are all more factory buildings. We'll have a quick look through them, but we need to get to the main event because we're losing light. We want to fly a drone. But this looks cool as hell. Yeah, so they're all going to be empty, but you can see the remnants of a lot of the... Uh, shoots and stuff like that. So we've checked all these buildings and they're all empty so we're gonna head to the main prison now. We've just come to this like weird abandoned house. It's completely empty but look it's a pillbox there. It's a nice rug there. That looks new but that's a nice rug. I'd love that rug. So this is one of the factory rooms. There's a lift there. I think there's another big lift. Oh yeah it's like a big furnace or something. Wow. Oh my god, that's cool. Jeez. So we've been walking a while to try and get to the main prison. But look at this mountain scenery. It's beautiful. Second to none, really. There's like this big auditorium dome sort of area there. God knows what that would have been used for. So this was probably, I'm guessing this was housing for maybe the workers because they look nice. I don't think they would have kept prisons in there. But the views here are unbelievable. And there's actually shepherds that still live on this island. So I'm guessing they might live in them buildings there maybe. Mm. They look, a couple of them look a bit more well kept. Look at that. Yeah, it's phenomenal, isn't it? One thing I love about Croatia is just everywhere you go, the views are just beautiful. So after a long old walk, we've made it to the prison. What we think to be the prison, anyway. So the 
this is the officer's quarters, the reporting quarters. 1950 it was built. First floor held guards while the ground floor contained isolation cells. Later on the location housed identification records, logistics, for ensuring food, drinks and other requirements. So we're on a time limit right now. We've only got two hours to film this and get back to the boat. We messed up on time and we thought five hours would be enough time to film this place, but it really isn't. So we're gonna have to fly around the rooms a bit quicker than we hope to. Wow. Wow, look at this building, man. Nice. Wow. So these are the rooms of all the officers. I wonder how we can get downstairs to these cells then. It's like an abandoned desert house, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Bathrooms. Looks like hay coming through the roof. Yeah. Is that a staircase down? Oh, yeah. here we go. Oh my god, it's dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, that's the bed. Oh that is the bed that they would have slept on. Why is it on an angle like that? For the subsidence has moved it. Yeah. That is creepy. Whoa, it's a bat. Fucking Did it hit you? Yeah. Jess just got hit in the face of a bat. Flew through my hair. Oh my god. It's very creepy down there. Let's look at that, that was a small cell, isn't it? Oh, I just, I'd go insane pretty fast. Yeah, me too. Look at these cells. Oh my god. Just look at that view. That is something else, that is so beautiful, isn't it? If you weren't at prison and being treated really badly, it would be It'd be nice, nice. <laughs> if this was a holiday resort, I'd stay all the time. <laughs> Quickly had a look around that building. A few cells on the ground, empty rooms up top. But this isn't an untouched explore. This is a historic place, super historic place. That's the main reason we came here. So we're gonna head into the main prison yard now. Let's see what else we can see. Any remnants, beds, posters. Anything like that. It looks like a little watch out, lookout points in it. And they would look down on the prisoners. Look, do you think that's all the beds? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a massive stack of prison beds. With, they're just left outside to rust, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so they didn't leave them in their rooms. Yeah. God, that's where people would have had the worst time of their lives sleeping in these beds. Ow. Let's poke my head in there real quick. So I think this was the um, cafeteria, maybe. It's like a bench in the middle. Yeah, it's like a cafeteria, isn't it? Yeah. You would have sat there eating, I'm not sure if it's for the prisoners or the workers maybe, I'm not sure. It smells like mint, doesn't it? it smells amazing.
Washrooms. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, kitchen. It's a wow. big kitchen. Wow, look at that. That's like an agar on steroids. Like that. No, neither have I. Oh look, it's all got old pillows and mattresses for the for the prisoners. Oh god, oh what a horrible they are. The coons. They look freaky those. Let's keep it rolling. Wow, look at that view, man. That's incredible. This is another... Wow, it's a big kitchen area. Oh, look at that old watermelon. <laughs> that can't be that old, that. Oh, it? it smells like it's... Um, it's huge. ...turned into alcohol. <laughs> They would have been cooking up a lot of food. Look, there's a cafeteria room. Oh, yeah. See, this is where they would have served all the food out to the prisoners. Oh, not the food they were eating. Cabbage and potato, probably, and sausage. Not very big for how many prisoners were here. No, there's probably multiple different areas, isn't it? Mm. Prisoners would have been probably cooking in here as well. I mean, the others would have been sat next door eating their lunch, eating their breakfast, eating their dinner. Coming out here into the yard, walking across the island and working all day. But I think we're going to head up the stairs now because all of this is cafeteria cooking area so we're going to head up the stairs. That metal door, the bars on it, such proper prison vibes in it. Oh, it's for the cafeteria, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, bathrooms. Look, these are like um, classrooms. That's cool. So they're probably learning stuff in here as well. So this is obviously like a washroom. Oh, it's the proper prison showers, isn't it? Oh no, these are toilets. Look, they would stand on those. It's like in France. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and poo in them and wee in them and stuff. But it stank in here at one point. Up the stairs we go. I think the rest of the guys are actually up here right now. Oh look, yes, it's outdoor. Oh, yeah, recreational area. Yeah, recreational. This is the prison yard. It's weird to think that there's probably weird people. Not even bad, but a lot of people that came here weren't actually that bad. They're in prison for wrong reasons, and later on, it was more of a normal prison. But, wow, look at this building. Damn, that's a nice staircase. It's really big. Have a look in some of these built rooms up here. Oh, it stinks. The animals have been everywhere. The sheep, man. The sheep yeah. are taking over. Bathrooms. Bathrooms. It's weird, all these blocks are like, because um, this is obviously the outdoor area for the monet, so this yeah. is all like cooking. They'd have their lunch, showers, and then probably get to work. Yeah, look, I think these would have all been little learning rooms, maybe, similar to the ones you can see all the coat hangers. Yeah, like sports I don't trust those floors either. No, me neither. Wow. Look at this creepy little room. Oh my god. It's got photos of naked women all on the walls. This is a creepy room, man. It is. Who'd be in this cupboard of all these naked women everywhere? With the officers. 
Oh wow. What's that? Is it? Oh, like a theatre room. Oh my god. What? It's a fossilised sheep. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. No, neither have I. That is horrible. It's literally a fossilised sheep. Such a shame that the ceiling came down in this building. This would have been lovely to see. Theatre area completely intact. I don't yeah, fancy getting on that stage, though. No, it's a shame because I'd love to, but... You ever see that and have some, like, fun time? Well, after the war and stuff, it was just a normal prison. Yeah, but I, you don't expect a prison to have a theatre, would you? Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, look, you can still see the chairs left behind. There's a basketball court as well. People would have been chilling in prison, just playing basketball and stuff like that. But the sun is setting, guys. It's about to get dark. This is going to be a completely different vibe on this island in the dark. So I'm not sure if you can see the sheep coming on the hill, but if you listen carefully... There. That noise is the rab shepherds calling the sheep back home. Camp administration intended to provide some pastimes for both inmates and guards. We've made it into another building. It has cells in it. It's the last one of the old beds. Which is pretty creepy. It's night time now. The sun has fallen. But this only held a small amount of prisoners. Look, they actually had like a shower or a toilet in their cell. Can you imagine spending like years in here? I couldn't do it. One night. I couldn't even do one night. Let alone years. God, look at this for a cell door. That is creepy. It's weird, like, it, this isn't a cell. It's creepy in here, man. So we're gonna go upstairs. Apparently there's more cells up here, so we'll have a look. Check out some of the other cells. I wonder if this lock was for a certain type of prisoner then. Yeah. Stairs and there's more cells, but these are more modern than the ones downstairs, which is a bit strange, but still super cool. It's weird to think that people probably spent many years of their lives just locked inside here. They're much bigger, these ones, though. Shared bathroom. Oh, it's tiny. 
Ja. Shower in the toilet. The Yugoslav regime discredited itself through Goliotok and destroyed the lives of people, many of whom fought for and believed in that country. Arrived back where we're catching the boat, but look at this party island. The restaurant is having a f <laughs> the restaurant is having a karaoke. They're having a party. <laughs> we're walking back now to catch our boat back, but look at the moon. Damn, it's almost orange. We made it back. We're waiting for our boat. Oh yeah, shine it back down there, man. Oh yeah, urchin oh, heaven me. Oh no. But we think this yeah, is our boat coming in, in, in the coming in the distance. But he's got no lights on his boat. This is scary. So it's going to be grainy because the ice is up. But you can see our boat man. He's coming in. The man of many boats. Here he comes. To be honest, though, mate, that's it's not a bright light, that is it? It's not a bright light on his boat, that. Howdy ho! Oh, Hello. good evening. Should have an apparello? Hey? Apparello time! Apparello. So we've arrived back at dry land. What an experience that was. We actually sat in the boat with the guys, chilling for probably about half an hour, just looking at the stars. You can see the Milky Way. There's even glowing plankton in the water. Right, guys, that is the end of this video. Let us know your thoughts. Drop it down in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed this one. What an experience this was. I will catch you next time.